to amen re mo le boge ka tshatjile tshatjile le botse na go re le wede mo na diwa re a le boga re le boga bophelo em le gore re a gona go kopana mo tshatjile na le khono last week re pala go kopana because bona lady elections le mo mthali sa tsona pele mara ka mawa mo dimo we are here and uh, there is nothing that is disturbing us re le boga mo dimo em nka dira phoso ge nka se le boge bishop sasha for the wonderful job he did on tuesday ah no man i was really blessed i was so blessed to be honest i was edified and mo di mo go di shemona eh ke dumela gore re sa tlo go di semona di dintshi tse monate o tswa mo wena the same one started our bible center i mean yeah you really amazed me le boga modimo o tloga o shumishitse and we are looking forward for uh, reverend musa on tuesday so <laughs> yeah yeah re a dumela gore modimo tla o tla o thusha modimo to shumisha yeah re tlo iphina ka bible study so we really want you to grow uh, and re le be ile matsogong a modimo modimo ke ana tlo le go disha re thomile wona moka moka i know uh, the fried ye le ngore motho ba le wona ga ya pulpit and it's a good thing because ya o pusha gore o ka prepare so re le boga modimo em ke se ke ka le bana ntate se ya bi hey ya the pillar of our church department e ngole ngwa mo kreya so yes ki 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 jack of all trades so the sunday to thoma ba yena na go khutsa so it's it's that's why ga rona mo sa mo kreng le ka ba sadin o ka re o mo kreya ke na ba itile pele so re a le boga re a le boga ka wena ntate se ya bi eh modimo a tswele pele go shumisha matlhanga modimo eh today re tlo ituta from the book of second timothy chapter 4 robala verse 1 to uh, verse 8 our message is about how to recognize a successful church what i have realized ke gore eh when ever o kopana le batho ba ile gore ke ba ruti especially ba ile ngore le a tsebana le ka no ba le tsene sekolo ka moka eh es re be re dira the er study of theology and then ba ruti ba ba ntshega le kopana ba tso ba ro mo ruti first thing they ask ke gore how is the church do you have a church that you are leading how is it how many members do you have so according to many people success in a church re bolela ka number if you have a large number you have a big building fancy one ye ke jeng ka batho then you are successful as a pastor that church is successful You have a mega church ye te tseng ka batho mega church ye long gore ena le batho ba ileng gore they are giving ah murutu tsa maaka di college ya mikhuta murutu tsa maaka di helicopter ona di private jet that pastor has a successful church it is true but it's his church not the church of god because success according to today's pastors and success according to our god is different but today ba ruti ba dikreke tse o e di teaching ba ba bolen dikreke ka lebaka la tlala ka lebaka la ro bana ka ho ropa batho success is uh, having a big church a big fancy church le number of people in the church That is why le ge batho because this thing e ka mogare ga megopolo ya batho ge ba ka tla ka mogare ga kereke ba kere kereke na le batho ba bedi ba bararo according to them that is not a church for them kereke tswa ntji tla le ka batho then they know gore modimo gona ka mogare ga kereke yo kereke le rona le batho ba bedi ba bararo according to them that is not a church because modimo ga gona ka mogare ga kereke yo kereke o bontsha rena le modimo e tshwantse e ka le ka batho morutu tshwantse a pare di suditse re ntse di fence ja o shaela di a pare ja o tura 
Ah, then you know what it is. That is a church. And a mutual apparel with any friends, Joe Dura, Kiana Motuelum or Bagam Shalamara. Baba Motaba go below one lavari, Kidiranga Mutu also call. I mean, we are correcting you, Woko, Chiamotago. So, Mara, if Muruti is rich, what's a Magadi helicopter? They know what Muruti Utlova, Barakil, Barakin, Gitojo. Yeah, Utlova Chella Tojo, the anointing. And uh, Lebona, they will be rich. Mara, if you are led by a poor pastor, you are in trouble. That is why the success of a church, Balebella Muruti, Balebella the building, Balebella the number of people. According to the pastors of today, Lily Greg, that today officially, Greg, the success of a church, Ki Hobali, a big, a mega building, FNC, Hobali Murutu, Muhumu, all the private jetty, Ya Sanjay Kalagaba to Greg, that church is successful. But that is not what the Bible is saying. When we read in the book of Timothy, listen to what. Uh, Pastor Paul or Apostle Paul say to Timothy, remember the paper who said this book, the paper of this book was written, uh, it's in chapter 1, I mean 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14. Listen to what Apostle Paul is saying. Paul says uh, in 1 Timothy chapter Three, verse 14, and I hope to come to you soon. Who is he talking to? Pastor Timothy, who was leading the church of Ephesus. Then he's saying to him, but I am writing these things to you so that if I delay, you may know how one ought to, be, to behave in the household of church. This is the reason the book of Timothy was written. Uh, First Timothy and Second Timothy, these two letters were written that Pastor Timothy will know how to lead, how to teach, what to teach, how to run the church of Christ. He will tell them how to behave in the church. So, Paulo Rikina Gautamo and Abad, Lerenga Dilea. Akina Kiori, Otaki Oscar, Zimawari, Basadi Basanjiva Direnka Maharaka Greke, Banava Direnka Maharaka Greke, Basava Direnka Maharaka Greke, Greke Mudimu behave as one. Hori, the reason I'm writing this because the book of Timothy, you watch a camera different uh, departments, different ministries. Hori, come on, come on. This ministry is coming out of the Greke, but it's on GCP. Then, Mori Lomala on chapter 4. Paulo Moja Muruti, Timothy Wari, Bona. I do not want you to do anything. He wants him about the things that are happening in the world. As for you, you are to preach the word. Do what God has called you to. Arriba Ling, record now ring. More to one hour now, Paulo Obojamu Ruti worry. This is what is needed uh, for a church to be successful. The reason I say this is because Kumurao, Hasna Mujari, Utanja Ranekreke Mudimujuang, one Mujawari, one Bonana. I am ready. I am ready to be poured as a living sacrifice. I have fulfilled my ministry. What I'm waiting for is the crown. If you want to my and we dirily. We dirily go if someone has run a race and then has won a race, it's a medal. So Apollo will look at the crown that he will receive for doing a good job. So Apollo will look at the crown that he will receive for doing Now I'm just waiting for God to crown me. Meaning the ministry of Paul in the world, he has fulfilled it, 
and he has succeeded. So in order for Timothy to succeed as Paul did, to succeed in running the church of Ephesus, for this church to succeed, Timothy must run the church the way Paul is telling him to. There are things that Paul is telling Timothy to do in the church. The ministries to run in the church for a church to be a success. Arbale, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 to verse 8. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers who soothe their own passions and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. As for you, always be sober-minded. Endure suffering. Do not work, or oh, sorry, do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. For I am ready being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought a good, the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. Amen. Let's pray. As we are live uh, on Facebook. Mudi mwaka real leboka. Lini nlele matla la mopolu shi jeso. Amen. Mwara badi le ngona ki apostle Paulo wala le eh, pastor Timothy, the pastor of Ephesus. As I already said, he is telling him how to run the church of Christ successfully. He is giving him uh, there are seven things that uh, Timothy is to do in order for the ch to, to, to run the church of Ephesus successfully if he wants to succeed in, the, in his ministry as a pastor. If he wants the church to succeed, because if the pastor succeeds, it means in the sight of God. If the pastor succeeds, then um, even uh, the church succeeds. So meaning Udirati Loka Mukomudimanyakang Adidirakaona. So in order for him to succeed, he must do as God commands him. Remember, Paul was not just writing uh, whatever in Kiena. This is the word of God. Paul was inspired by the Holy Spirit. Whatever is written here, Kisa Mudimwa Nabuja Apostle Paul or Asenwale, in order for a church to be successful. Holy Bella. I charge you in the presence of God and Jesus Christ, who is the judge of the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingdom. This is what you need to do in the church. Number one, verse two, I preach the word. Number two, be ready in season and out of season. Mm. And then number three, this is how you need to preach. Rebuke, Reprove, exhort with complete patience and teaching. In other words, whenever you stand in the pulpit, rebuke, reprove, exhort. And do that in great patience. Mm. 
and then I jolla pillary, one more, and a vestry and four, where Nagui Lofi Tamoy long worry. But you are doing Yagala Baruti by deliverance, Baruti Bon Chama Dimoni, Baruti Bo Rachelete, are teachers, Baba Sutangi Yagajabon. This is what we are experiencing today. People no longer eh, eh, want or need, eh, actually, they no longer want the sound doctrine. As eh, Paul Abolala Gore, but Lotro, they will abandon the sound doctrine. And then, by Nyagala Baruti, by Long Gore, Barrera, Lujavana Gangudiqua, Barrera, Baba, 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 excited their emotions. They give them hope that is not godly. Empty hope, empty promises. This is what people are running after today. So, and then, Hajola Pilimoro, verse 5, as for you, always be sober minded. Don't allow those people or about fair pressure. Hell, when I can get you with because but who are getting married, Lucio, a Baba Sipian to Lagamara de Cregetio. Where not him with the little that talk about to Gamara Greg. Where now be sober minded. Don't allow those things who do change. What's on the Baruti Baba? Where Buffalo, Lower Gita, Bicha, Baruti, Badi Dumu, Baka Bata, Jack Greg. I know the pressure or a Halegere Ramara Greg. I holy Halegere Ramato Abata, the Gamara Greg. I'll be sober minded in Jews suffering because you will be persecuted, you will suffer. If you preach the truth, if you live the truth, believe you, believe you me, you will be the minority. You will be hated. Jesus was hated. Jesus suffered on earth. Because of the truth, when I was in the morning, I was in the morning, I was in the morning, and then I was in the morning, do the work of evangelist. We must go out there and fulfill your ministry. So these are the points that we have to today. Number one, for a church to be successful, how do you recognize a successful church? The doctrine that is preached, number one, are in the church they preach sound doctrine. This is what God is telling Timothy, preach the word. Sound doctrine, they preach sound doctrine, number two, they preach uh, confronting messages. Are you preaching? to and then number three, they are not controlled by situations. Because we preach the truth. Are spicy this morning, Hore, but to barate Greg, a year really more on our barate so resurrect. We preach the word because we want people to love God, not us, not what we preach. Are they don't practice favoritism, they choose Christian. They choose Christ in hardship. They evangelize and they fulfill their ministries because each of us have a ministry in the church and we must serve until the last day on earth. The ministry, I believe every one of us knows what God has chosen for him to do in the church or on earth. So that ministry that God has given to you, because the Bible says everyone has a ministry to save. So fulfill that ministry. Do it to the fullest until the last day. Because we have a fetch a message for next week. We have a message for Point number one, they preach sound doctrine. This is what Paul is saying to uh, Pastor Timothy. For a church to be successful, you need to preach the word. Verse two, I preach 
the word because sound doctrine is the foundation of our faith. Without the sound doctrine, there is no Christianity. Believe you me, without sound doctrine, there is no Christianity. If you read in the book of Galatians, there are people who are preaching a different doctrine in the church. What is Paul saying? Are they are disturbing the church? Are what they are preaching? Are they are preaching a different gospel, which is not gospel at all? So how can what is not gospel save people? How can it set them free? Because if you promise people, if you come, you will be blessed. If you come, your marriage, uh, uh, the problems in your marriage will be over. Those people come expecting those, they, those things. They don't come because they want to enter the kingdom of God. They want God. They come because they want those things. So does that kind of a message save? Not at all. The gospel of Jesus Christ, the gospel of the cross, uh, the gospel that says, "Es mutuwa dumela or mutuwa puloswa ha dumela ho Jesus Christ." Salvation by faith alone is the one that saves. Sound doctrine is what is needed in the church. We need to preach sound doctrine. We need to preach sound doctrine. Because Paul in the very same book of Galatians, I think it's uh, verse 10, chapter 1, verse 10. Or Or Shumela So we are here because we are serving Christ. Our duty who is Jesus Christ? Sound doctrine build the church. Sound doctrine grow the church. Sound doctrine uh, saves. It set free. How can you be free when you did not? You don't get the real stuff. That is why before Jesus uh, was crucified, he prayed this prayer for the church. John 17, 17, saying, Father, sanctify them in your, in your word, for your word is true. Arabella, his disciples, Lirina, Hori, in order for them to lay the foundation of the church, they need to be sanctified in the truth. In order for us to build on their foundation, we need to be sanctified in the word. Without sound doctrine, there is no Christianity. There is no faith. Our faith is doomed without sound doctrine. That is why today, that is not gospel at all. So the church, it is successful in the eyes of God. They preach. Jesus Christ crucified. Jesus Christ, salvation by faith alone. They preach the gospel as it is. They preach sound doctrine. Let's go to the second point. They preach confronting messages. Erbala in chapter 2, yeah, 2 Timothy, I preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. And then, Hajola Pelare, reprove, rebuke, exhort with complete patience and teaching. This is preaching, confronting messages. Preach messages that are confrontational. Whenever you stand in the pulpit, you need to. Uh, Reprove, you need to exhort uh, and uh, do that with great patience. Builder, 
the church of Christ because when we speak of the church, we speak of people in the church, believers, people whom God has saved, who believe in Christ, who are part of the body of Christ. We are the church. The gathering of believers is the church. So, the goal is to build the church of Christ. The goal is to build you. So he's saying, because today, this mega church is number, the number. To tell the truth, you know why? But receive so when you are hating them you are not helping them according to uh, these preachers entertain these people make them feel good about themselves if you listen to Joel Austin this is what I'm talking they need to be comforted. I hope I'm saying about the smiling preacher. Yeah. So many pastors in order because to say again such things are the time will come people will abandon the true doctrine but you abandon the true faith to meloya needy but to each other and then what they, what, what will they do they will run after the preachers baba sudan dinya kwa chabona he umpotsa re monna ke tlo khuma a pekinya ka so blessed empty promises. This is what they are telling these people. And so Paul Timothy against these things more verse 3 and 4 are they will seek for themselves such preachers are preach the message that is confronting message of hala message of aga message of udisha the message that Peter preached in Acts chapter 2 from verse 36 to verse 38 I read the book of Acts over the confronting messages this is how God want us to preach why chapter 2 Acts chapter 2 38 36 to 38. For they did not ascend into heaven, into the heavens, but he said, but he said himself, the Lord said unto my Lord, Speak thou on my bed. To me the God thirty five, thirty six, let all the house of Israel therefore know. Chapter two, thirty six. Whom you did, remember you are preaching to people. Peter is preaching to the Israelites who crucified Jesus Christ. What you see happening here, if you see these people that are speaking in tongues, uh, this is the beginning of the church. Which Jesus Christ, the one you crucified, remember, I mean, imagine this is the truth. And they apologize. Now, when they heard this, they were taking their hearts and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what 
shall we do? Then he shall say unto them, Repent, and be baptized oh. every one of you in the name of the Lord Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because of what Peter has said, because of the truth that Peter has said. I mean, Aratwa no to enjoy a message about to get a message to you. I did some of my shanness in Moody Mass will let you. Tell the truth. Preach the truth. If Moody Mara Mutoge say, okay, go with the radio, and as I did, I'm going to ask a police who do a healing. Let's say it as it is. Mutuat seven Nedila Hilling, I had the board, Bam Pudita or Kimudra Divi, Kitanjik Sokolore, Egesa Sokolore, Kitua go healing. Because baby little, I did clear. So we need to preach that. So this is the confronting messages. Tell them, this is what you need to do. A successful church in the eyes of God. The messages that are confronting. The messages that are confronting. The emotions motivate about to. they are not biblical. Yes, motivation. encouraging messages, not motivating people. We will preach encouraging messages. And But the messages are to be confronting. Let's go to the next point. I'm trying to be as fast as I can. Number three, they do not. Oh, they are not controlled by situations. Verse two, yeah, chapter four, Timothy. Really preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Being ready in season and out of season simply mean uh, when things are going your way. Be ready to preach the truth. Out of season is when people do not like what you're preaching. You don't do that. But that is the problem because today we have such problem. Preachers, if then you will be part of the majority because but was the majority. No one wants to be the minority. But Paul, he will be the minority during his time. I remember Elijah, he will be the minority during his time. Elisha, he will be the minority during his time. I remember uh, 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 come on, Micaiah, I think you know Micaiah in uh, First King, First Kings uh, chapter 22. I remember the Micaiah, my Lombori, Hoshi, Uvanakoyan Toing, Hoshi Ahab, Ubija, Papa Rofita, the prophet of Baal, Uri, Anali, Bergman, the king of Judah, Urmoy and Auri, Bona. Bila kiki the king of Judah wa wa suggest amu re ari bichi ba kanga ba mudi munge re kora na ba ring kanto ya ba rubule ba rubuje jitu dira la kopi ilu re mudi munya kariya ori mudi mu ori reskere na so aha pu bichi ba profeta ba high the prophets of Baal then baata ba bichi khoshura khoshus kaba wara the blessings we are not just receive khosh. Mudimu will let it say, We pay Ville, Arintrakia How, Victrikia How, Tamaya, Tamaya Hoshi, and then Bargaman Hoshi Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat, yeah, the king of Judah, or Moy and Auri, or our Marauna Omu Muprofeta, because Amaka, but Maka Maka will learn to it. Or Omu Naman Bariki. Micaiah, hey Marai, this man, I give a prophet a little bit second. Kimutoile, so Barumela messenger, Aubicha, eh, Micaiah, and then Mutileng, Arbalim, verse 13, 22, verse 13, Micaiah, messenger, we are born. All the prophets, Babu Lejo, Haka Hosh, Luana, you must do the same. Read it, verse 13. 
Ora zar ki speedi beke 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 khopela ne speedi. Oi tsuero bona ne. Okay, eh eh bale sa sha sa. Wagwa, kure ba profeta, ba bolit si sakatang kuhusi, chola pilo le ana fitla dire. Wagwa, lo ena bolala la sio si sakatang kuhusi, skat teleja mudi mune, bolala la sio si sakatang kuhusi. Don't be the minority, be part of the majority. Kipa tata baro kwa bana nilo bana today, chola pe. Listen to the response, Elder Mekaya. Elder Mekaya says, If the Lord liveth, what the Lord says unto me, that will I speak. Amen. We are not to be controlled by situations. Mekaya was alone in this situation. He was the minority, but he spoke the truth. And Mekaya was beaten. And was locked Kamukturongo for speaking the truth. Bana today, later not today, that's what we are experiencing. Especially when coming to uh, barking, gospel, yeah, 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 er, 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 spiritual gifts. We are Tula Nalama to Baba Nichi, Baba Ring Banaba Revangedi, Marahawa Swana Chaba Wala Nedila Holy Jale. Scala o like ma he mo nyogore he o leka ka mna la batho bangwe he ba fitlile ka mo ara batho ba ile ngore e ba dumela tsona dilo tsheo because they are afraid to be the minority ba dira tsheo he ba tsene ka mo ile ngore ke malopo le bona ba embrace malopo he ba tsene ka mo dinga ke gore ka ba embrace ba dimo le bona ba tsena ba embrace because they are afraid to be the minority ba direla go gatla batho ba laola ke maemo ho tsene ka mo maemo nga o nyoko tswana le bona he ho tsene ka mo o nyoko rena if we want to be a successful church we are to preach the truth Semelo sarena ebel ebe neti ya mudimu ebe lintula mudimu wherever you go leo kakra ba dirallo tsa bona ba bolla ka malemi ba dirang semelo sa gao ga ebe neti ya o tsomola fokola la mudimu go tse ba rontho eo a e mo lintjuna la mudimu ska nyoko ba party wa yona ska la o lake mayemo this is what paul is telling timothy are be ready in season and out of season don't allow the situations to control you Wari heba tu basa unyaki watu ala Bible ya wari nanga serere nete heba tu ba yaba nyaka maruti ba bona wari kita chencha mla ya jukuru ba tu ba tega mo arakireke lina kirere chaba nyaka umudi go kora ba tega mo arakireke are be ready to preach the truth in season and out of season maemo udi mla sa udi mleli uskabu al chencha ke maemo a successful church kai chenchi ke maemo ureri one nete. The next point, they don't practice favoritism. Verse 4, most second Timothy chapter 4, I mean verse 5. Are as for you, ke after sna mmoja hore batho ba tlo inya ka la baruti ba bona ba ba ngwangwa ni tsebe tsa bona are mara verse 5 ga itswalla hore as for you always be sober minded because mutho mo sober minded or someone who is not sober minded eh o lebella siemo a lebella batho ge o na le case eh o tle Musa le Sasha ke a lebella gore mara uh, what is Musa contributing to the church? Sasha unchije two million last week. Armurudi zamawi tega la private jet. Ye kia conference. And kodi mule mwe Sasha utisha chalet and Sasha uta magadi college ukolo Sasha ukumile. If we lose Sasha kamu kregen ngasa grad loje kiti kreya. And then what about Musa? No, Musa atishi silo. So, 
in this case ke a bona re sasha o wrong mara ge nka re sasha o wrong e ra re nka sakira all these things take it gram from sasha and then musa o benefit ka eng no ha benefit ka selo so ke tlo ema le le sasha because ke kra jigidi gram from sasha but a person who is sober minded ga le be le lo jam kuto but mo pela se batla bosa gawe ba le kana because le mo go modimo batho ba le kana does it make sense so this is what god is saying how na ho favor ka mogare ga kreke is like what james said in the book of uh, james chapter 2 ke go pala wa e grilla re ba le le yona james chapter 2 from verse 9 or no eja from verse 1 no mpala verse 1 re ele go verse 9 because mo james o bolla gore o bolla ka batho ba be dire motho wa modidi o tapile ka mogare ga kreke and then o nna modi ma situlo eh here sa ntse o tsana motho wa mohumi ga o tsana situlo and then o re mo motho wa modidi o re ei wena nna fase ka le ba ga la re wena o modidi re be mohumi modi ma situlo that is practicing eh favoritism so any this is in or are no bala verse 9 bala verse 9 Amen. It is wrong to practice favoritism. So as a pastor, Timothy, you are to be sober minded. Avoid such things. And then the next thing are in Juhachib. Ke boletse gore mo go verse 5. In Juhachib, 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 5. After sober minded, o bolla gore he should endure or in due suffering so the point is they choose Christ in hardship as a christian hardship will come if you need uh, to live for Christ if you need to preach the truth if you need to live the truth hardship will come you will be persecuted you will be hated kana kristo bo leje ka yona gore ba tlo le tswara ba tlo le lokala ka tronkong they will persecute you are le gele a phiera mo pele eh 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 ga maghota gore ga 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 di tronko gore ga di court are i will be there i will be the one speaking on your behalf remember hardship is there as a christian why na ga won nete you will go through hardship but to bailo gore ga ba nya ke nete ba 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 spice the message these preachers ba ba spice the message and their followers ge o re ra nete they will hate you and they will persecute you mara ga wa tswana gore ka mogare ga maemo a o o fetoge o dire dilo ga tla batho o nya ke o ba part of the majority enjoy being the minority ke na nor this there's a script as saying if o nya ka o phela nete be ready for persecution be ready for hardship be ready to be persecuted bana ba modim we should know this thing gore those ba ile gore ga re tumelo tsa rena ga di doctrine ya rena ga 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 itswane they will always try to persecute you they will ridicule you ba tlo dira ka mogoba ka gona gore ba o ishe go fase mara o ska di melello tshe gore di fetole because the success of the church is not measured by the majority Refetsa o bona ko Mikhaya the majority of the prophets saying things tse long gore ga di tshe go modimo but the minority Mikhaya speaking the truth don't be afraid to be the minority le ga ba o persecute ba ba go ba rena re tshe from the family tse long gore di pulushitwe they hate us because of our faith kwae ba embrace ba dimo wena o pulushitwe he ba nna ka etla ka mogae ba re ba tlotisha motse wena re mm na se nna phata a tsona di lotse do you think gore ba tla o rata no you will be the minority you will be persecuted because of that mara paul says or god says in jo hatship khotlelela le go lejwane let the crown 
that Paul is talking about, the crown that will be given to everyone who believed, everyone who loved the appearing of Jesus Christ, everyone, waratan jeso, wanyakamopila jeso, wapunusi jeso, the crown that is waiting for us, let it motivate you, because if you live for Christ in this earth, if you endure hardship on this earth, the crown is waiting for you. God is going to say to you, well done, my son. Paul was out of example yeah, the Romans. During that time, Israel had a Romobili, or the soldiers would come back to the group of people but were eh the gathering ba 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 o shipa modimo wa bona ge ba fitla ba tswe ba ba tswe le statue ka magare ga whatever eh ba 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 na metsa khoshi ka magare ga yona o kere mashole a role that thing e ba fitla ba e be fasi ba ntshe the picture of Caesar the statue of Caesar ba re one one le atla you say Caesar is god and then you fail to say to worship Caesar. So you go to Caesar, or Caesar is God, and then you fail to do that. That's where we see the true Christian. If you love your life more than you love Christ, you will want to save yours. And by so doing, you are forfeiting your life. So. That is hardship. Hardship is like a challenge. But Paul says, or God says, you are to enjoy it. And then our next point are to do the work of an evangelist. The church that does not evangelize, remember, more like a the first point. If you look preach, so a successful church is recognized by preaching the sound doctrine, uh, by preaching the confronting messages, by not, uh, uh, they are not controlled by situations, uh, they do not practice favoritism, and then they choose Christ in hardship. And then number six, they evangelize. This is how you recognize a successful church. Kregesa evangelizing is not a church of Christ. Remember, there's a great commission that Christ gave to the church who will go out and preach the gospel. Those who believe, baptize them in the name of the Son, I mean the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is great commission. Every Church, every local church, the church of Christ is summoned or commanded to evangelize. So a successful church must evangelize. Karada the book of Romans, chapter 10, Arivaling. Rabale from verse 14. If they are not called, and how will they be called if the messenger is not sent? Romans chapter 10, verse 18. 1 3. Romans chapter 10, verse 18. Amen. Amen. This is evangelism. Okay, it's, it's about salvation. I mean, evangelism is reaching the unreached, reaching the sinners. So how will the sinners hear about the gospel if someone is not sent to them? 
We should go out and evangelize to them. Heba ikwa evangeli ya Jesu Christ. That's when they will be set free. That's when they will believe and repent from their sins. As Peter did in Acts chapter 2. The Israelites had Peter preaching. They had the gospel. They had, they killed the Messiah. And they, repent, they, they, they repented from their sins because of the preaching of Peter. So if we don't go out and evangelize, how will they hear the gospel? How will they be saved? How will they be set free? A true and successful church or a successful church in the eyes of God, evangelize. And eventually, or the last point, they fulfill their ministries. As I said, uh, everyone has a ministry to serve. We have a ministry. Each of us has a ministry to do in, this, in the body of Christ. So we are to serve as if we are saving him. Remember, remember, and in tongue we we dirang, you are. That is why is it in the book of Matthew chapter twenty-five? Mo Jesu a a biblical bolla kore mashaba shaba tloota mo pele agai. And then Jesus will be judging, and he will separate the shdimku from the body. And then he will say to the goats, kore kibe kitli le kitswere kitala, you fail to feed me. Kibe kile katrongon kitswere, you fail to come and visit me. I was naked, you fail to dress me. And then bata abuti shormara Jesu kini mungile ra wana uleka wena tila yone yo rasi kudirele loje yo are whenever you help the less privileged you are doing it to me are saving kapiloje di felleji let's fulfill our ministry are saving riskara ipalejana serve as if you are saving Jesus Christ you will be preaching on Tuesday preach as if you are preaching to him. Because first, kia na wa ilumuru kiyoko. Before na, hata vitla lage message. So let you prepare. Preach as if you are going to preach for him. Serve anga pelo jeli felleji. So that when your day come, when the day, like Paul, listen to what Paul is saying. His day is around or has come. Are for I am chapter 4, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse Six, I am ready being poured out as a drink offering. He's about to die. And the time of my departure has come. Listen to verse 7. I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. Are I have fulfilled my ministry. And henceforth, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me, not only me, oh, to me on that day, and not only me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. If you fulfill your ministry, this is what you will get. If you serve God with all your heart, this is what you will get. A successful church is recognized by, the, by, by this doings. First, they preach the sound doctrine. They preach confronting messages. They are not controlled by situations. They do not practice uh, favoritism. They choose Christ in hardship. They evangelize and they fulfill the ministry that God has given to them. Let's serve God. Let's serve God. numerically. He will add people to the church. Let's serve the one who has called us. Let's preach for him. Let's preach the truth. Let's live the truth. And my fellow, the crown of righteousness 
will be our debt to those who served faithfully. Let us be the church that serve its master faithfully. May the good God bless you. Amen.